Please evacuate the building immediately. <laughs> This seems like the gas seems worse than normal. Stop killing my ghouls! Those are my ghouls! Stop killing each other! Hello Survivors, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. We're over at Hotel Rexford. Have just slept for the night. I know it's kind of dark out still, but it's 5 a.m. We're going to be indoors mostly for uh, the first part of this episode, so won't matter too much. I really, really am trying to not record outside at night uh, because I know like there's so much complaining about, oh, I can't see. Also, I mean, you should realize that it's not always... Um, the fact that it's dark, it's the fact that we have black rain in this game, which looks like like midnight. It's actually darker than nighttime, I think. So, yeah, just be aware that that's a thing, and I can't control it. It's part of Frost, you know. Sorry. Not much I can do about it. Just grabbing some food here, and some water. Oh, yeah, I don't need this thing on me right now. It's a nice laser rifle, though. I want to keep that around. I'll probably have one mide out. I'll probably have this, like, one of these mide out uh, for, like, every occasion. You know, one for uh, sniping and one for regular close-range, mid-range use. But we look good there. Let's go ahead and... Let me see, what's my sanity at now? 83, and that's with alcohol addiction? No, it's just 83, period. Okay, so we can we can drink some more booze now at this point. And we'll do some Instamash, and I still have my ENB on. Let me turn that off real quick. Okay, good to go, guys. Good to go. See, I'm going to check out the warehouses around here, and then we're going to head out and kind of explore around Boston some more. Eventually, I'd like to make my way down to Jamaica Plains and stuff. I've been told that it shouldn't... It shouldn't cause any problems for me to go down there. It shouldn't give me the workshop or anything unless I actually take the workshop by hitting E on it. So hopefully I can go down there and clear out the ghouls and get the experience for it and uh, not get that. That would be ideal. See, there's a bunch of warehouses out here. Uh, should be survivors and some decent loot. So we're going to go through them, get all the things. I am uh, Sandy. And Sandy increasing item rich right now. I have a lot of stuff. Have a lot of booze and uh, food and stuff, excess stuff. So might as well kill a bunch of humans and get some more experience, right? That's my philosophy anyway. This is a cool area. Oh. Damn it. Where'd you come from, lady? Okay, I just got a proc. Should I? Is it worth it? Uh, should I use it? Uh, I have three of them. Yeah, I'll go ahead. So there's one. daddy -O gives you intelligence two. So that should be a whole bunch, right? Yeah, we get, um, 13 intelligence there. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do a bunch of water so I'm at, uh, as close to full hydration as possible. I think I left the rest of my water over there, so I can't get quite full hydration, but that's good enough. It's pretty close. Should be pretty dang high right now. Any other boosts I could do? I don't know if I want to do XL right now. 
probably isn't necessary. Hey, this is gonna be fun. Oh, shit's got ambush all over it. Ow! Still kicking? Jesus! So another one up there? Oh yeah, right over here. Like 100 minimum experience from these guys. Not bad at all. What did I lose all that health from? I don't even know. I'll do a stim pack though and a bandage. That is uh, literally what we're here for is the experience. So hey, not bad. I go down start from the lower level here. That woman, like, spawned right beside me. It's kind of weird. Through the door there. Didn't think I had aggro on anybody from out there, but I guess I did. But as I was saying, this area looks pretty cool. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I myself am uh, enjoying a snow day from work, so I haven't gotten very many of those uh, recently. Like, we just haven't had much snow this year compared to normal. This is actually more of an ice storm, and it's really, really bad. Like, the roads are just, they're just atrocious right now, and uh, that's fine with me. I'm all stocked up on food and stuff, and uh, as long as I have power and internet, I'll be totally... I'll be totally, totally happy and fine to just stay home and uh, make videos. That's like totally okay with me. I was really happy. Usually whenever we do a day off, uh, my boss will text and say, we're just going to do like, we're going to do like, we're going to open it at noon. And then we don't find out until like 11 a.m. that we're going to actually close. But I guess this time around, um the ice and stuff was really really bad like it's not so much snow we've only gotten about three or four inches of snow it's just the ice there's freaking like an inch of ice on the roads and sleet coming down it's not stopping the trucks are just like not even bothering trying to stop it so yeah it's been uh you are so the... dead huh I can see these guys better whenever I have my light off. End of the line. Stop. Bring it, you pin can. Oh my god. This is just getting hilarious at this point. The experience gains. It's just getting funny now. He just looked at me for a bit like, no, don't do that. What is up here? Can I even go up there? Oh yeah, I can. Hello. Hey. Hold it right there. You want through, you gotta pay. I'm just passing through. So you're gonna run away. Then you die. Any more questions? It's a hard world. I do what I have to. You better leave me alone. Or else. Ain't scared yet! Fucking idiot! What's up, asshole? Huh. Interesting. Well. I'm sorry that you chose violence. I have no issue choosing violence as well. I got the experience like I... Oh man, there are two of these together. Oh god. This might break the universe. No, they're, they're good well and stuck together. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, I kind of thought that, you know, I wouldn't get the experience because I failed the persuasion attempt. I guess if I had popped some Mentats or something, I could have, I could have probably passed, but why? Just would rather kill her and get the experience and stuff, you know? Maybe she had a quest or something later on. Bobby pin, nice. Been kind of running short on those because I've been getting into a lot of master safes lately and uh, those are quite difficult in Frost. Kind of burn through your bobby pins pretty fast. Cutter Sue's journal. This is a new one. I don't think I've seen this one before. Ooh, well. Oh, there's, there's Cutter Sue's head. What do you say, Cutter Sue? Probably not a very nice person with a name like Cutter. Welcome to Scully Station, biggest pain in downtown's ass this side of the red line. I came in a couple weeks ago. It's a whole process. You gotta know someone on the inside if you want to join up. I'd been out in the waste for weeks. Got myself booed from Pat Place just a few days before shit hit the fan there. So anything was looking good at that point. Knocked on the gate, and wouldn't you know, Madge O'Neill from down the street opened it up. Let me tell you, that was a sight. Girl sure didn't have no apron or cooking mitts. Looked like a fookin' savage. I mean, that in the best way possible. Anyway, it's a pretty good setup here. I got a loft in one of the cleared buildings. We scav stuff for the boss down in the metro, and he feeds us. You know what they say, a fungi I day keep the rads away. Oh, okay. Not a bad, uh... Not a bad deal, I suppose. Until some maniac in power armor comes along and murders you for the meager belongings that you have. What a jerk. All of these are like that. You notice this? Oh wait, this is... Hold on. Yeah, it's definitely... Or is it? Oh, it's not two of them stuck together. It's because of my... Uh, my light I have on me and that... Anytime there's light coming through a window in this game, it looks so cool. There it is, guys, right there. Screenshot. Thumbnail. Bam. Not really. I'd put more into it than that. Gotta get just the right angle. Tweak the character just right. Just so. Lighting really does do a lot, though, for, you know, joking aside, lighting really does do a lot for uh, making this game look really good and photorealistic. If you get the lighting and the uh, character positioning and stuff just right, that's what makes the really, really good looking screenshots. And of course, you know, nice textures help, too. Okay, so this is uh, Bobby No Nose's place. Excuse me, I didn't even have time to do anything. I was locked in place with some bullshit. Bullshit! 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 What do I think about that? Don't demonetize me, YouTube. Okay, so you can get in here, but it's it's all boarded up. You can't go any further. Because you don't have what's-his-face here to uh, bust through the wall and stuff. Thought I spied something behind there. There's Teddy Bear.
That was really lucky that I got an idiot savant proc on the other building too when I was at like 15 intelligence. That's kind of crazy. Your chance for it to proc is so low at that point. This requires a terminal, but there is no terminal, so... Rest in peace, safe, I guess. Terminal somewhere. Nope, there is... Well, maybe upstairs? No, you can't get up here. I think this is... I don't even know. Okay, there's nothing here. Nothing good. Already been through the old state house. Um, did I go through this one? I don't think I did. Obviously not. I haven't done the, the lock on it yet. I once opened a, uh, a lock with a bobby pin. Didn't use anything else, just a bobby pin. At my aunt and uncle's house. I felt very proud of myself. Okay, we are done. That seems like a cool screenshot right there. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Okay, hold on. I gotta take a screenshot. I'll be right back. Okay, it was beautiful. By the way. Creepy, creepy, creepy. I don't know. I never thought of the mannequins as that creepy until people pointed out how creepy they were. I guess I didn't 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 really bother me that much. At least not in the video game. In real life, they're creepy. What's this say? DMF or XH or nothing at all? What do we got? Oh, it's just the edge of the uh, thing there. Ooh, nice, more jet. I get so much jet. I have so much of it at this point. Ended up just, like, selling a bunch of it. I've already been in this room, like, three times. Keep going in circles. Okay. Is that all? Yeah, I think we're good here. And that should be everything in Scully Square, I would say. Okay. Let's go dump it into a workbench. I think I'm going to take it all into the armorsmith bench. It's like in the... Uh, well, actually, no. I, I guess... Uh, yeah, I guess the cooking bench over here is fine. Because what I'll do is I'll come up through here and then haul it all back this way. I'll bring one of the kids with me. Well, the kid remaining, I guess. I'll bring him with me. Oh, I don't want this. Everything else, however, can go in. I need more water, too, because I drank most of it up. Yeah, good enough. I'll get the rest sorted later. 
Okay, we're going outside, guys. We're going to go out and just kind of have a look around. We're going to look for unexplored compass markers and go to them and explore them. That's really... That's really my entire plan for today. That's pretty much it. Still got to unlock this, eh? How many levels do I have to spend here? Two or three? I know I had one last episode, right? So it should just be two now, I think. Uh, just two per points available, yeah. Okay. Excuse you. I'll, uh, I'll figure that out later on. Alright, so, uh, let's see. There's a building I haven't explored this way. Let's go there and, and see it and explore it. What is over here? Well, excuse me. Ooh. Glad she missed. Hey, not bad. Ooh, this really isn't bad. Taking that one back. In fact, I can use that one. So what is this? Oh, it's vault Tech. I was in here in a previous playthrough, but not in this playthrough. One of the play playthroughs where I died. I thought there was a... a fusion core here, but I don't think there is. I think I was perhaps mistaken about that. Maybe we will get lucky with some nice high-level ghouls. That'd be great. Again, gonna try to be as quick as I can with the looting. Mostly just going for money, schematics, or other super valuables. Every time I see a desk, I'm like, oh, I need that. I need screws, but I don't really need them anymore. Pretty much done with weapon crafting at this point. Come on, ghouls, where are you at? I need more than like one or two. It's already over here. Whoops. It may have escaped your notice. I mean, I don't know how it possibly could have, but it might have that I am somewhat directionally challenged. You know, I can make builds in, in Frost. I, I'm real smart about, you know, where stuff is in the game. Hey, heavy laser turret. Nice. And sell that. I'm not a terrible shot either. You know, I'm not the best, but I'm not the worst either. But, um... Yeah, if you put me inside a brown paper bag, I wouldn't be able to find my way out. You know, like, it, it's, I'm just that dumb. Like, as far as directions go, I just... I just, I don't know. I'm just bad at figuring things out. It doesn't help that my field of view is, like... 50 or something crazy, whatever the default Fallout 4 is, which is way too small in my opinion.
pretty sure this is gonna be... Yeah, this is all pre-war stuff. Don't care that much. You know, compared to other Fallout games or Skyrim or anything else like that, um, even compared to like 3 or New Vegas, 4 does just have a ridiculous amount of lore in the world. Like, they did a good job with that. You gotta give them some props for that. You know, for how much work went into the, into the world and the, the lore as, as far as just the stories you find on computers and stuff, making it a lived-in, believable world. That's very important for me, at least. Okay, so that's the entirety. Is that it for vault Tech? I'm missing something? That does seem like everything in the upper area. That's it, huh? Okay. There's an elevator that goes down, too. With a couple ghouls. I thought there were more ghouls in here. Maybe not. You do some drinks. Basement. You can get up there. You can also just jump. That's how it works in real life, too. You just look at the side of a dresser and jump and, uh... Think E real hard with your brain. You can pick stuff up out of, stuff up out of it. And we got the main nuke back here, dropping bombs in the toilet. Oh, come on. This is like the back door, I think. Jesus, I swear I tried both left and right and it still w was not going. Okay. Yeah, Beacon Hill has, uh, this has the outdoor, uh, not main nuke, uh, fusion core, but I already got that, I'm pretty sure. So no real need for that. I gotta say, like, these, like, 20, 30 second load times, like, they're, it's less than that even, it's like maybe 15 seconds at most, usually. It's pretty awesome. Oh, right, the amphitheater. Bunch of Alliance fellas over here. How you guys doing? Yeah, it'd be a shame if uh, someone tossed a grenade over there. Beat it. Beat it. <laughs> something, 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 so beat it. I'm not, I'm not quite Michael Jackson, sorry. The only thing I would care about on a uh, handmade would be a long sniper rifle, but if I find one of those, I do want to get one. Wait, so who had the... Oh, this gun just laying here. You can't actually pick it up, though. I, think I already got it. Right? Pretty sure I did.
That was a creepy sound. Oh, it's radiation. Okay. Phew. Now they're all irradiated. Hey, it makes sense. I bet they're irradiated even if you disarm that trap, though. Alright, fellas. Well. Sorry to break up your... Whatever you were doing over here. Burning bodies. Type thing. Burning tires? Burning bodies? Not sure. Is, uh, what's his face in here? Do we already kill him? Whatever replaced the one dude. What's her name? Usually over here, too. Um, Imogene. I didn't realize that Imogene is spelled like, I think it's I M O G E N E. I thought it was like Emma Jean, like you'd call it, like you'd say some, like you'd say Norma Jean or Billie Jean. It was one of those names, you know. So I thought Emma, Emma Jean was actually Emma Jean, and this, like, guys, I swear to God, I didn't find out about this till like a year or two ago. Like, my entire life. I mean, I just, I don't know anybody with that name. It's not a common name around here. I, I bet there's not a single person in this county who's named that. So, you know, make fun of me if you want. We all have our blind spots, though, you know? Stupid synth birds. Oh, that one actually died! I don't believe it. Usually whenever you shoot them, they just like... I don't know, they just like disintegrate, or they don't they don't respond at all. They just keep flapping their wings or whatever they're doing. I kind of feel bad now. That one was actually real. I mean, not really real, but you know, in the game he was real. Are birds ever even real? So there are US Army remnants over here. Aren't there some mines around here? I really felt like there were military fatigues, two agility, not bad. I prefer the strength on mine though. I should go and get Grognat Grognak's outfit. Mines? Anywhere mines? No? I could pick the lock too and go in from the back, I guess, but a chemical leak nah. Has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Do it again. Again. This seems like the gas seems worse than normal. Stop killing my ghouls! Those are my ghouls! Stop killing each other! My EXP. Yeah, why not? Eh, hold on. There, people are dying out here, man. I gotta, I gotta kill them before they all kill each other. 
Who's there? These poor bastards. They'd never be the same. They'd never be right in the head after this, you know? Bear just put him down. damage too heavy though Gen Labs observation area. Please step up to the windows for a demonstration of our products and development. Repeat. A chemical leak In has been detected. Criminal scum? Hallucigen Hallucigen's dispersant is ideal for peacefully clearing an area of civilians. Hallucigen is not responsible for any damage, injury, or loss of life sustained in mass panics that may or may not result from the use of dispersant. What the? No, huh? stop it! <laughs> Ow! Freaking hurt, man. This bleed might take me down before uh, I can recover. You can't recover health while you're bleeding. No, stop it! <laughs> Repeat, a chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. It's under my skin! Uh -huh. Get it out! Get it out! Yeah! <laughs> Excuse me. Bugs, 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 bugs. Get away! Get away! No, I don't want to do that. And it's not very good lighting here. Bugs, bugs, bugs. Okay, I was gonna take a screenshot. I think this is a real. You know, I want to get a save before I do this. I want to get. I want to get some good lighting on this guy and take a screenshot of him like laying like that. I think it'd be really, really interesting. Can't. Okay, this goes to the back. There's an upper area I haven't gone through as well yet. I need to go through. I 
There's a minigun back here, if I remember correctly. Repeat. A chemical leak has been yes, detected. Indeed. Please evacuate the building immediately. I've never had any ammo in it. Doesn't look like it. That is a tremendous amount of damage. Is that the, uh, it's a tri-barrel. Yeah, it shoots a lot slower. That's a lot of freaking damage for it being five mil. Really? It shoots that fast? It shoots pretty damn fast, man. What's the fire rate on it? Fire rate is still 177. That's still extremely high. Has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Geez, that was hard. Hey, there's the password. I can't carry this thing. Even though I kind of want to. That's new, I think. Used your stealth, boy, man. Ooh, dehydrated. So yeah, some of these some of these shadows are kind of weird. The shadow is like beside this thing. It's like the shadow clipped on this, and then it's in midair over here. It's very the over here. It doesn't look terrible here. Please evacuate the building. I don't know. I like the headlamp. I might I might get rid of the shadows on it just because the shadows are a bit weird. They don't quite work right. Not sure if the old one that I was using had shadows or not. There was an option to use a no shadow version. Quest log. It's literal quest log. I gotta drop some stuff, and I gotta read this quest log. Atreus the Wise, the untouched, Elder King of Malden, champion of Ugquatoth, and servant of the Voice, has granted me, Hermaeus the Feeble, a most important quest. We are to be one of the chosen groups sent into the Dead City to retrieve a serum most coveted by our master. While our comrades scour the depths of the Undercity, we shall prowl the surface. We have discovered a most holy place. In Molden, I was never able to hear the voices as the wise elders could, but here, at Hallucinogenic, I can listen. He speaks to me. He tells me the secrets of the world. I know of the serum, the crown, the voice. I can see the beginning of things. I can see the final resting place. I can see how this ends. Okay, this... It makes more sense now, guys. The note that you get detected. in the cage at the beginning the of um, kind of the canonical start in the the cell or whatever, in the access tunnels, if you start in the that cell, you get uh, the scrolled note or whatever, and it has a lot of similarities to that note. And uh, it sounds like it's set because there are molden men here, 
It sounds like maybe Janice was here with the Molden men and had uh, grabbed whatever his name is, the, the sergeant or general or whatever. They had grabbed him from here and he was like going nuts because he was on the hallucinogen stuff. And that's why his note is so weird and out there. I see it all makes sense now. Is that new? Has been detected. Please evacuate the building. I gotta drop some stuff. There's nothing. I don't think there's anything new there. Probably just old war, old world stuff. Oh, these are super heavy. They're for a quest, but I feel like. Probably doesn't matter in Frost anyway. They're for a quest in, in the main game in Vanilla WoW. Or not WoW. Vanilla. Guys, said Vanilla WoW. Vanilla um, Fallout. He read me, baby. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, right. There was the upper upstairs area. Uh, it was just a small area that I wanted to go over and check real quick. This area right here. Okay, there we go. Wasn't sure I'd get through that. No, uh, no. There we go. We don't have to fight, you know. All your buddies are dead. We could have been friends. A chemical leak you don't give that detected. much experience. Please evacuate the building. Ooh, master. Um, can I do this with terminal? If I can do it with a terminal, I'll do it with a terminal. Even though I'd get experience from it. Um, yeah, we're just gonna do that. was a heck of a hit she put on me there. So I jumped over here. I didn't go down below, though. A chemical leak has been detected. This area, I think I already went building. through. Maybe not, because there's stuff here. It's pre-frost normal stuff. I didn't go through here. I would have gotten all the money. Ooh, nice. But one of the comments, someone asked, uh, have I sold my schematics yet? Not very many of them. I've only sold duplicates that I've gotten so far. So I still have a lot to sell. Oh, there's more. Eh, you can live whoever you are. I'm too lazy to go down there and find you. You're only worth like 20 experience anyway. Please evacuate the building. Uh, is that good? Are we done? Oh boy. Now I'm gonna be real over encumbered. I don't think I'll be using this uh, hallucinogen gas can for anything. I really doubt it. How do I drop 10 pounds? Sorry, gas mask. You're really cool, but you gotta go. 
Please evacuate the building. How did I lose even more hit points? Because the buff tats, I guess. Works differently in Frost, I suppose. I don't know. Ugh, I can't get through here. Oh my god. Can't go through there either. Oh yeah, there were, um... Those robots I wanted to kill. What? Oh. Tactical advanced assault rifle. Let's take a look, see what's on that. Pristine receiver. I already have one of those, though. No, I've got all... Well... Yeah, the long barrel's not that much better than the one I have. I don't really care that much. And I got a uh, baseball bat. I don't want that either. Is there a fusion core back here anywhere? I guess I missed this area. I don't know what all I want off of this. I'm not sure what all I need. Thing is, like, 4570 ammo is so rare. I might find enough of it to go out with that thing once, then that'll be it. Can't believe that was too much. Uh... All right, I gotta get out of here. I just don't know which way is out anymore. Here's the robots. Nice, free ammo is always good. Okay, I'll, I'll figure it out eventually, guys, how to get out of here. Right, if I go... Here, no, this is where I was really, and I couldn't get out. No, not that way. Couldn't get out because I'm too tall. This goes to the control room. There we go. Ray. Okay. Okay. Well, that was pretty successful. Cleared that place out, no problem. So, guys, I think. Got a twitcher. I think uh, we're going to call it there for this episode. And I'll probably head back between episodes and drop stuff off and uh, get a nice, good night's sleep. Then I'll be out here again exploring more in this area in the next one. Because we got a lot more to explore still. A lot, of, a lot of compass markers I haven't seen yet. A lot of areas I just haven't checked. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.